2012 comes around, uh, Values gets going. Who are the original people? So Values actually started with uh, me and Mike, Mike May. Yep. Um, him and I were neighbors. <laughs> Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mike. Hey, what's up? <laughs> but no, uh, Mike and I were neighbors. And um, at the time, um, Baker and I were actually in with Eyes Like Mine. Um, that was an active band. Is that like a similar genre? Um, oh, like shit. Similar? Yeah, I wasn't with Isaac Mine at that point. No, nah, oh. I mean, that was more metalcore, okay. post-hardcore, okay. you know, um, screams, sings, mm-hmm. melodic, riffs. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was different, mm-hmm. you know. But Mike was actually like our cameraman, our our merch guy. Mm-hmm. He would just come to every show, hang out with us. You know, mm-hmm. he was really good friends with all of us at the time. Mm-hmm. We got along. But Mike and I, you know, would always get together at his house. He had a little studio set up and we would just screw around and make music mm-hmm. and one day i said to mike i was like hey i said let's uh start up like a little side project and uh i was pretty you know firm at the time like yeah. side project it's all i want it to be you know mm-hmm. maybe play a show here and there and you're drumming at this point and mike's on vocals no so i was actually writing all the music okay and mike was doing vocals okay um so mike is actually i mean in values you hear us we're very aggressive mm-hmm. fast loud angry um, values didn't start out that way. It actually started off more melodic, uh, like heavy melodic. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people don't know Mike actually has a great singing voice. Interesting. That's and to me, yeah. he, he really wanted to be able to display that. Mm-hmm. So we kind of dove right in with that. Um, him and I started writing the music. We got our buddy Steve Wilcox actually at the time involved in the project uh he played guitar Mm -hmm. so steve and i on guitar you know i would be writing the drum parts we would figure out the bass stuff together then we had this guy mike stoffer join the band and uh we're just like wow we kind of have a full band you Mm -hmm. know like if i want to play drums i could play drums steve could play guitar and started out as a little four piece Mm -hmm. and we kind of took it from there um at that time, I think it, uh, it's important for me to go back there because you guys, uh, when Val- Values peaks to me, it's like there's a cult following the local scene where you guys were just a source that everyone wanted to be around. It was always a fun time. Like you guys are, I don't know, you're beloved to our scene. You're, you're a crucial part of it. And so going back to this early time where you guys are figuring out what to do and it's you and Mike trying to figure out what you even sound like, who this thing even is, uh, yeah, I think an important step of the process to be aware of as it continues to grow. Uh, and then Baker said you come in in 2014? Uh, yeah, no, because... Uh Actually, it was about the same time that With Eyes Like Mine was kind of like starting to wind down a little bit. Okay. Uh, like, I uh, can't exactly, like, I started playing for them and we did a couple shows here and there. We did like a, like, I, I, what did, what would I finish? What did I start with? What is it like? Um, it was the, at, not the demo. It was the one after that where we had like the drowners swell on it and everything. When that oh, came. for values. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to remember that timeline. Um. I remember the first song I ever wrote for them was that Drowner Swell song. Mm-hmm. And we dropped that. The first show I did with them was Oceano at the Webster Underground, I think. I, it, That's cool. Okay. So when you joined uh, Values, is already kind of yeah, they were it. already doing a thing. Yeah, they were doing like a couple shows here, a couple we shows there. We weren't doing it very well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, say that, you know. Uh, hey, he it, said it, it, not me. <laughs> no, and, and, no, it's true. Uh, we needed a breath of fresh air because at that time, the music we were making... Mm-hmm. I mean, even though we were proud of what we created and we liked what we wrote, it was very just old and boring. Okay. Um, it was the same Old and as, boring is like it was from the 70s or old and boring as in you had written it five years ago and it just now brought it to life. Like it was old, old to you or old? Old and boring as is just a very repetitive genre. Okay. Um, everybody else at the time was doing it, so we were doing it. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't refreshing. It, it was just the same as what was already out there. Yeah. Um, it, it, extremely cookie cutter, mm-hmm. like, um, right. like it was like fill in the blank core bands, like, Hey, we have synth somewhere or we, Hey, we have like the clean singing guy or we got both, but we didn't, they didn't have either. They had the clean singing, but it was like mm-hmm. kind of like that type of deal. That kind of is the only way to start a band though, is to try and be whatever you you like listening to. And it's like, it always is going to be a bad version of it, a Walmart version of it, <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. I think of people are always like critical of their first band. It's like, no, that kind of had to suck. It had to be go through that process to end up growing into what it grew into. Um, I, yeah, no, you have to be terrible in order to figure out okay, yeah. like, okay, this doesn't work. Every, this has been done. Yeah. Let's do something else. Yeah. And I remember when we first started writing, um, but like me and Jordan together, like when mm-hmm. we kind of just started changing the sound and everything, I was playing in a random hardcore band 
and that wasn't going too too well so mm -hmm. i took all the music that i was writing for that record and just down tuned the living hell out of it and then turned it into the violence ep which hell yeah like uh cave in was actually already recorded for another band just when we we took that one and just down to the shit out of it because i think it was on drop d we dropped it out we played and it was g sharp at the time okay so i was just like you know what? we're gonna make this sound just as gross as possible and then and oh, yeah. then that's where that came from when does Corey come into the picture 